Hello and welcome to our latest session of Sunday Morning Together. I hope that you're all having a brilliant summer holidays and that you've been keeping up with our stories so far of the promised people. Well, today we are learning more about Moses. Now, we know that the promised people, the chosen ones, God's special people, the Israelites, they have been walking through the desert. So far, they've been rescued out of slavery. They had the 10 plagues in Egypt and they got through the Red Sea. God kept looking after them in the desert when he provided them with food and water. But the Israelites kept complaining and they didn't always make the right choices. So much so that God knew he had to help them. So he called Moses and he gave them a very special set of rules. And we know them as the Ten Commandments. Now, I am going to show you a very cool way to remember all of the Ten Commandments. And the very easy way to do that is with your fingers. Each of the commandments uses the number of fingers that that commandment is. So commandment number one uses one. Commandment number six uses six. So are you ready for them? And guess what? Once you learn them, you'll never forget them and you can always tell them to other people. So we begin commandment number one. There is only one God. Commandment two, don't have any pretend gods. Commandment number three, this looks like a W, so it means to watch your words. And with words, we want to think of God's name. God's name is holy, which means it's very special. And we don't want to use God's name as a bad word. Commandment number four. If you turn your hand like this, this little thumb looks like he's having a rest in your hand. And this means have a special rest day with God. In the Bible, and today, we sometimes call that the Sabbath day. Commandment number five, respect your parents. This looks like a little family. It could be a mum and dad and some brothers and sisters. It could be a granny and an auntie and uncle. It's whatever your family looks like. But commandment number five is respect your grown-ups. Commandment number six, don't kill. This looks like a weapon and it might hurt someone. Commandment number six is do not kill. Commandment number seven. Now we've got two people here in your hand and commandment number seven in the Bible is written as do not commit adultery. But an easy way for us to remember this is to keep your promises that you make to God. Commandment number eight. If you put your hands like this, commandment number eight I look like I'm behind bars. Do not steal, otherwise you'll end up in trouble. Commandment number nine. Now it looks like this little thumb here is talking behind their back. Don't make up stories about people. Don't tell lies and don't try to hurt people with your words. Commandment number 10, the last one. And it's like this, you say, gimme, gimme, gimme. In the Bible, this is down as do not covet. And to covet means to want something so badly that somebody else has. It's like being jealous, but it makes you all mean inside because you want what other people have. So there you have it, our 10 commandments today and a really easy way for you to remember them. So now you can practice and say to each other, what is commandment number two? Well, we know two, two fingers don't have a pretend God. Commandment number four, four fingers have a rest day with God. And you can keep practicing and see how many of them that you can remember. Thank you so much for joining us for another week of Sunday Morning Together. There are some worksheets in the Google Drive link in the description of this video for your family to continue their learning. And we'll have another story up online for you next week.